Kansas is a cowboy state. It's in our legacy. Kansas blazed a trail throughout Western history. It all started with the Native American Indian, as you know, who roamed the open prairie and hunted buffalo. Then explorers came west, braving harsh conditions, Coronado, Lewis and Clark, and John C. Fremont's expeditions. Kansas became a key crossroads of the trails of the day, to Oregon, California, and down to Santa Fe. When Texas Longhorns needed to be shipped east by rail, they drove those cattle to Kansas up the Long Chisholm Trail. It was the toughest cattle drive those cowboys had ever seen, to Dodge City, Ellsworth, Caldwell, Wichita, Newton, and Abilene. Those townsfolk knew they'd better have things all battened down, because some cowboys sure went wild when they finally got to town. They'd gamble and shoot and drink up their fill, and a few left their graves up on top of Boot Hill. But like everything else, those times went through change. Homesteaders built fence where there was open range. Brave settlers came west and made the homestead as their perch and built the institutions of the home, the school, the church. Now the spirit of the cowboy in our state is living still. From the feed yards out west to the rolling Flint Hills, in the heart of a Kansan, the cowboy spirit lives on, and the values our people will still draw upon. They work hard and play hard, are honest and free. Values that matter to you and to me. It's part of the character that makes Kansas great, so we're thankful that Kansas is a cowboy state.